everybody, Paul here with PTZ Optics and I am at Micro Center and we are gonna build an affordable two camera live streaming system for a house of worship. Let's check it out. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is pick up two PTZ cameras. And the nice thing about PTZ cameras for houses of worship is we're gonna do two PTZ Optics Move SE cameras. These are 1080p cameras. They start at just under $1,000. We're gonna get two PTZ cameras and one joystick. That's gonna be a little less than half our budget. So we're gonna try to stay under $5,000 to create a two camera live streaming system here at Micro Center where we can get some great service and support for all of our live streaming needs. So two PTZ cameras, one joystick controller to control them. Depending on how big the house of worship is, we might wanna do a 20X or a 30X optical zoom. A 30X optical zoom camera can zoom in up to 75 feet away and capture a pastor up head and shoulders. These cameras do have auto tracking capabilities so we can automatically follow the pastor, have one shot for wide angles or different special things like the choir, and then one camera specifically tracking the pastor. So we've got our video set up. Now we need to get some networking. We're gonna get a power over ethernet network switch so we can power these cameras. We're gonna get a live streaming computer and that's, that's gonna be pretty much it. We'll get the ethernet cables, we'll tally it all up and we're gonna keep this under 5,000. Let's get going. Now, today's computers, you can actually uh, use a laptop. Um, what we're probably looking for is like a gaming laptop of some kind. Um, well, let's take a look over here. All right, now, good news. I found two pre-built computers that will both work for a two camera church live streaming system. But let's start with this one. This one is $600. Okay, it has an i5 processor and it actually goes up to 4.6 gigahertz, which is really, really fast. Um, it's Windows 11, it has eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, now you can get that up to 32 gigabytes. And so you could buy this computer at Micro Center and say, hey, look, I, I like this computer, but I want you to put in some more RAM and they'll do that here. They have a whole computer building system so they could take a base model like this and upgrade it for you. Now, what I would probably do is I would get this base model for a two camera 1080p system. This will work, an i5 processor. Um, this actually has um, a Intel graphics card. So this will work for a two camera system. It's a little underpowered. If we can stretch the budget to uh, this one here, which is 900, so from 600 to 900, we're now getting an i7 computer we have Windows 11, we've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is more what I would recommend. And we have an NVIDIA graphics card. This is a 3070. So this computer might be a better choice for a church live streaming system because this can probably go from two cameras to four cameras more quickly. Now, here's something to think about as well. Whether you're going to use a capture card which is can be built into these computers with a you can actually we'll look at the capture cards in a moment those bring hdmi and sdi video ports into your computer or if you're going to use ndi and ndi brings in the video over ip over a network connection now graphics cards do cost money so you might have to spend 300 400 dollars we'll look at the graphics cards in a moment in order to bring in the video uh, signals via HDMI or SDI. If we use NDI, we don't need to buy a capture card, but we probably should have a higher quality processor, okay? Because the video is decoded with NDI over the IP network. So we wanna take a look at the video outputs, because as you know, a lot of churches wanna power video to a projector so that they can display lyrics. So this card right here, this 3070 card, is gonna give us multiple video outputs, one for our monitor, and then of course, an additional for a projector or other video output. So we are going to stick with this 899 laptop and uh, continue on with our journey. All right, so we are at $3,465 currently. We are going to pick up a $900 desktop computer 
we're gonna get a $99 27 inch computer or monitor here. And then we've got the two PTZ Optics Move SE cameras and a joystick. All we need now is to get some networking equipment so we can power all the cameras and get connected. Let's go. All right, so the networking equipment is over here and I wanna give some recommendations here. So this is a router. Um, routers are good things to have. Um, you probably are already have a router from your internet service provider. If you don't, uh, this is a really good option. These routers have a lot of uh, remote control connectivity and they're really good. So depending on how old your router is, if you want to use it for NDI, we need to make sure it's a gigabit router and we have the ability to send a decent amount of video over the network. So take a look at your router, learn a little bit about that. I'm going to assume you have one. What we do need to buy is an, a POE network switch. Now, right here, these are the network switches. And this one right here is a 10 port gigabit POE plus network switch. Um, this one might be perfect for you here. This is $80, so pretty affordable. This is gonna allow you to plug in additional devices to your router. So your internet service provider gives you internet. This allows you to power the cameras and the joystick. So this is kind of perfect. We've got four PoE ports. This will power both cameras and the joystick. And then you've got five additional ports to, power, to connect to your laptop and other IP devices on your network, maybe like a wireless access point. So let's add this to the cart. That's $80 and keep moving on. All right, so really quickly, I wanted to show probably one of the most popular video switchers for affordable church live streaming systems. This is the ATEM Mini Pro. The cool thing about this is it can take four HDMI camera inputs, right? Video switch them, and it takes it output to a USB. So you can plug that right into your computer. So it does a lot of the video processing in this video switcher so that you only have to deal with one camera input. This makes like pretty much any laptop, even if it's a lower end, older computer work. So ATEM Mini Pro is a great option for if you if you can't buy a kind of more powerful computer where you can do the video ingest like OBS and vMix software on the computer, this is a great option. PCIe cards, we were talking a little bit about that. They cost between $500 and $1,000, so they're almost as expensive as the computers themselves, but they allow you a lot more flexibility, video outputs. Obviously a computer is a lot more powerful than just a video switcher, but these are great and they're available here it's just $2.99 so it's a great option if you've already got a computer and you're just trying to add more cameras to your setup all right so last thing we need are some ethernet cables to set everything up also we do need camera mounts for the ptz cameras so we can mount them on the wall the camera mounts are a little less than hundred dollars each so that's 200 more now we are going to look at some ethernet cables cat 6 is probably a good idea cat 5e being like the lowest that you want to go because that's gigabit um, these are 70 dollars each so we're going to have to add another 150 for cabling get us an hdmi cable to connect our monitor um, get us two 100 foot cables to run to those cameras and then a short ethernet cable to run to our computer and another short ethernet cable to run to our joystick so let's total all that up and see where we come in for our church live streaming system. All right, so we came up just a little over $4,000, not including taxes. I am going to uh, provide all the information below. We're gonna assume that you're using OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. I have a couple books and online courses to help train your team on how to use OBS. That's a free software you can put on your Windows laptop. So a little over $4,000, you're gonna get a two camera live streaming systems with the joystick for your volunteers and your AV media presenters to operate. That is a great deal. This is a really good system. It's gonna allow you to live stream. It's going to allow you to record. It's going to allow you to zoom in and capture a high quality video to keep your audience engaged. 
I want to share some information in an upcoming video and some videos we've passed, uh, done before about getting more donations during your live stream so this can help people come into church, bring more people into your congregation and help the local community know the amazing things that you are doing. So that's this video. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. If you're interested in doing 4K, it's a lot more expensive, but we do have 4K cameras. They do look better, but you're gonna have to buy a more powerful computer and take into consideration a couple other things. So that'll be our next video. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check out the blog post where we're gonna detail each piece of this and show you the exact budget.